We're here at Sun and Fun. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm talking with Chris Cater today. And Chris is going to show us, well, it's a Cub Crafters, but it's got a whole new instrument panel to it. And I love the stylish way Cub Crafters always does that with their airplanes. You folks have installed the new Garmin G3X Touch in here. It's one of the first actual airplane installations in this flew down here, correct? It did, yep. It, uh, it uh, did a country tour. It uh, left the factory and wound its way down to Dallas, Texas. And uh, flew in formation with seven other Cubs from Dallas down to Lakeland. Is that so right? Yeah, we had a we had a good time. Now, were they all following you because you had the cool new instrument? Well, you know, the cool new instrument, we had the cameras mounted because you interface all of that right on the screen also. So he was shooting video the whole way down. So Pete was in this flying it down from the factory. And, you know, you go down the left side and go underneath and back down the, the right side and, and just uh, we're shooting video and keeping track of everybody and letting us know when traffic was popping up. And it was uh, it was beautiful nice. thing. Yes. So I got a little introduction to it the other day, Chris, and it was wonderful. And I, I, I've always liked the Garmin stuff, but I'm an iPad user like I think just about everybody in aviation. And so we're used to tapping the screen and yep. And yet, tapping the screen is not always optimal either. If you're kind of bumping around, so you can kind of go both ways here. Give me the, give me a little bit of review and actually touch the screen for us so we can see it move. Now we're in a demo mode sure, here, right? Demo mode. So this so is not actual stuff, folks, but it's simulated actual stuff, and you Absolutely. can see on the screen. But okay, so give me, give me just a gentle introduction to what you can do with just your finger on the screen okay. first, Chris. Well, uh, you know, if you get sick of rotating, you can, you can pinch and spread out you can zoom in you can pan so that's real easy if you can run an iPad you can run this screen um, for example if, if your engine instruments if you want to increase the size of yeah, those yeah they're kind of small over yeah, there how would I change to, that you don't have to hunt and peck for a hidden menu simply hit the engine <laughs> panel it brings up half the screen you can go back to the full screen or the split screen by hitting back or, for example, you can reach up here and just tap the screen here. Oh, I see. Okay. So there's, the right there, there's huh? usually two or three ways to get to something, and one is more intuitive than the other. You know, so it's it's very simple. We sat in the airplane a little bit as we were coming down. We all kind of played with it a bit. Um, I don't know where the manual is. I think after about two <laughs> hours flying the airplane, it is just, it's like any Garmin product. It is so intuitive. And they build off what they have manufactured in years past. So that lineage and people get to get to practice from, you know, two or three years ago with their old Garmin. A lot of that carries forward. With if you've used stuff. the Garmin before, oh. you're going to be able to use this, yes. even though it looks quite a bit different. Yep. Some of the old Garmins were rimmed with buttons, and yes. you've still got some buttons. So that if you're bouncing around in the sky and you can't quite find your finger to touch the screen, you can still do it the button way. Is that Absolutely. correct, Chris? Yes, you can rotate the buttons down here. They have little highlights down here, what the buttons do. Um, it's synthetic vision. You have traffic on here, ADS-B traffic, uh, transponder. You just you go, okay, Yeah, okay, so we're, you we're, got transponder and radio I can see up here. Yeah. So you're going, okay, where's but the button? But am I just looking that? at that, or no. how do I activate it? Transponder, just hit transponder. Oh, boom, wow, look The at whole that. screen opens up. Touch, and a nice you know, keypad so you can just do your... Yep, boom, boom, enter, um, and Sweet. it changes. Same thing is just how about as easy the radio? with the okay. You hit standby side, that all opens up. Beautiful. Okay, you can still monitor, you can adjust squelch, you can do all kinds of things, but you really, if you can read, you just hit something you want to change and it, it intuitively opens it up and it, it's real easy to do so and then to go back to full screen just back up yeah right so corner, let's go back to the map and i don't know touch on an airport or something and let me see how that part works. all right let me get back to this so okay now right we got now, your moving map and your synthetic vision yep. and a little bit of instrument all in this one panel you can see along the bottom here we're on chart I, now you can be on on uh on map and it'll bring up the okay, map with the okay. train all the time traffic's displayed but we all like the sectional charts, so we go to sectional. Sure, we're all used to sectional. Yep. So. And we, we zoom out, or we whatever we want to do, and we uh, locate an airport up here. Simply tap on the airport. Ah, look at that. And then you can see Tango Delta Oscar opens up. I I hit that. It. Then we have frequencies, which will uh, put it up into the standby. Okay, so try that. Go okay. hit on frequency. Frequency, and if I want to put 24-2, 24 2 there. goes though. Oh, up that there. is sweet. Hit that, it transfers over. That is beautiful. Runways, weather. If you have, uh, you know, ADSB, or you can have, you can have ADSB and XM 
because in certain places of the country, right. one system works yeah, better than the other. Yeah, XM is really the greater coverage, but it costs a little. It costs a subscription, and whereas ADSB is free. Absolutely. So have it both ways yep. here. You can have the radio, so if you want to listen to your Mozart going cross country, you can do that with XM. If you don't feel like you want to pay for the subscription, ADSB is just as good. So let's come back to the beginning. What you said about you're talking about the flight down here. All of this. It's marvelous. I love the way it works. I love the intuitive nature of the touch and all the information that Garmin's always had. That part's cool. But one thing is different, I believe, than any other instrument that I know of, and that's being able to see the video on the screen. Absolutely. There's a little. Now this is you put their cameras wherever you mount them. You put the Garmin verb, which is uh, you know describes action, so it's a great name for Garmin, you know. But basically, you'll have a little window that'll open up here in the corner, which you can get video feed. It'll so will show you what that camera show is showing you. What that camera is doing. So you don't have to mount your your GoPro or your Garmin camera in here and get that prop uh, oh, yeah, filtration yeah, yeah, right. problem that you have. So you're out there in the clear. Um, there's really you could do anything with now, that. Can you adjust the camera as well? I don't think you can adjust the camera yet. Give it six months. Yeah, don't right. Have a camera Software where you upgrade. Can, you could rotate and pan <laughs> wherever you want to. But I mean, really, the sky's the limit. You could. You could put a FLIR camera out there, a you know, thermal imager type uh, camera, so you'd have synthetic vision and your FLIR camera could be in there. So wow. it's, it's just amazing what they're doing with this. And it's like anything in aviation, computers. Um, you can upgrade it. Man, give it three months or you can upgrade it. And the interface and the upgradeability of, of all of Garmin's products is just fantastic. And then to take, you know, kind of the top shelf in avionics, in my opinion, and Cub style airplane to marry those two together. I think we've got just a kill. Well, you, know? you guys have obviously changed the cub a lot. It looks like an old fashioned cub. It is not an old fashioned cub. You've got so many improvements to it in so many ways. We've got a cup holder now, which is fantastic. And a cup holder. <laughs> well, <laughs> my goodness, I don't think you need to do anything else. Now. Well, that that was this, the one thing you complained about in that flight report. I, well, yeah, yeah, right. You took my last little complaint away. So. Autopilot radio. So, so you can see here we have a remote head for the autopilot also and a remote head for the for the radio we can have one of these we can have both we can have none autopilot for example I reach up here all the autopilot information with one touch of the screen pops up here I can do everything from here that I can do here and you just seen the radio demonstration where you can transfer stuff over here too. terrific so stuff Chris it's just uh, you've got backup on backup and it fits in there just Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah, you don't absolutely. need anything else. Absolutely. Why perfect. would you want anything else? You, you have a little compass up here, yes. I see. Yep. That's right. Is a concession to the analog uh, world that we all it's used a to obey. Piece. But <laughs> and you know another neat thing that you don't see on this is is running in the background of all this. This is this is keeping track of all of your flight plans, all of the neat things you do. You just basically pop out the little card, uh, put that into your computer at home. You can download everything and you know see where you went, sweet. your speeds, everything. Um, also running in the background is kind of neat. Here by the HSI, if I'm out there yanking and banking and having fun, if I go over two positive Gs, this turns into a G meter. Or if I go negative, it turns into a negative G meter. Oh, wow, just automatically. Automatically. We've got angle of attack over here that, you know, in a cub, you're oftentimes looking out, banking, you know, sharp uh, base to final. Your head's outside looking for traffic. You're going to get a tone in your headset. Uh -huh. You're going to get a visual sign here for AOA, and it's going to sit there and cluck at you, cluck at you, My and goodness. go full tone when you're getting close. So. It's, it really is everything that you would want in a panel. It's light, and I believe we shaved about eight pounds, which, you know, you lost weight by adding is, features. Uh, now there's an accomplishment. Grams. That allowed you to put the cup holder in, so now we are good. <laughs> Chris, that's great. Thanks for so much of a nice introduction. There's a lot more to get from uh, Garmin and from Cup Crafters, but let's get the information. Where do we go on the web? We'll put it up on the screen for people. Where do we find out more about Cup Crafters and the Garmin G3X Touch? Well, uh, obviously, you go to Garmin.com to get any information uh, about any of the Garmin products. They do a wonderful job. Or if you're lucky enough to be down at Sun and Fun or Oshkosh this summer, stop into their booth. Uh, yeah, they're doing uh, they're doing uh, uh, seminars and teaching you how to operate this Absolutely. as if you need much. Yeah. It, training it, it, it you, you don't need you need a couple hours in the airplane and a finger that's all you need <laughs> um cub crafters cubcrafters.com and uh we've got all kinds of information there on the aircraft uh videos uh, very very active forum with pilots and family members you know, so, uh, so it's uh, easy to get to easy to find so. great stuff we'll have more about that and there's already pilot reports and video pilot report, reports and more you can find all that on bydanjohnson.com or by DanJohnson.com. 
Thanks for joining Chris Cater and myself here at Sunnyfront. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate the review.